Hey guys, so this is my nine week update. All right, so not that much has really gone on this week. I was debating on if I should even make an update video or not, but I decided that I would because I just, I wanna document everything um, this pregnancy and maybe my videos will help another pregnant mom who is worried. Okay, so first of all, I have no makeup on and my hair, I did not do anything. I just took a shower and that's it. So let's ignore that, but anyways, this week, my symptoms have kind of just disappeared. Like, I'm not really tired anymore. I'm not nauseous anymore. I don't really have headaches anymore. I'm not like constipated anymore because I was dealing with that for a few weeks now and I forgot to mention that on my last update, but that was a huge symptom. I can't believe I forgot to say that. But yeah, like it was just one day I woke up and my symptoms were just gone. And I was like, okay, like, I know like around this time like your hormone levels can like level out and your body is getting used to it so like your symptoms can get better but like I didn't think it was normal for them just to completely go away. So today was a really rough day for me. I really like started to realize like my symptoms have been gone for a few days now and I was just like think like I was getting really worried about it. Um, I looked it up and like some people were saying that it was normal but like their symptoms always like would come back like super bad in a couple days but mine didn't come back yet and it was going on four days so I was like okay like starting to get worried because just with the, my past of having a miscarriage I'm just worried all the time so I called my doctor and you know she was like she like the nurse didn't really say like oh that's normal don't worry like she just said you um all she said was let me talk to the doctor and see what they want you to do and i'm like okay so i waited for her to call me back and during that time i went and took an ovulation test because i ran out of my pregnancy tests so i was using those like because i know they detect pregnancy too and when i take those like in the past like a week or whatever ago the test line would be so dark that there was barely any dye left in the test for the control line but when I took it this time both of the lines were like almost the same color and I was like okay like why 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 is it like not as dark as it was before like I don't know exactly how ovulation tests work with the pregnancy stuff but I was like okay like it just made me freak out I'm like my levels must be going down like you know like thinking the absolute worst I was crying and my doctor called me and said like let's just schedule you an ultrasound you can go down at like one o'clock today and just make sure that everything is okay so my husband came home on his break and we talked and he just decided to take off work for a few hours to take me to my appointment because I was just bawling like I cannot even exp like I was so scared you guys like I literally was just like I can't believe I lost another baby like I like in my mind I just shut I just like shut down and I was like my baby's gone like I had no hope like I don't need like it was just so crazy like I never was like this in my past pregnancies I always was like you know what everything's probably okay but this time it's like no like I really thought I really thought my pregnancy was done and I thought the baby had had died I was like, I was just so scared and um, yeah, so we get to the doctors and I'm just waiting and my husband actually stayed outside with our girls and just hung out with them outside and so I finally get called back and the ultrasound tech was so nice, like usually they like don't even like talk to me, like which makes it so bad. But she was talking to me through everything and she even like first she did the abdominal ultrasound and she was like, oh I see a flicker already and like right when she said that I was just like, oh my god, like I started crying, I'm like, oh my god, my baby's okay, like oh my god. And then she did everything else and I got to see the baby and the baby was like wiggling around with his, with his hands and feet, his hands. I don't know if it's a boy or girl, but yeah, the baby was wiggling around, moving like crazy. The heartbeat was awesome. The heartbeat was actually 168 now at seven weeks. Um, in two days, it was 
141. So the heartbeat went up and I think that's normal. So I got two more and I'll just show you guys. The baby is so much bigger already. Like I was like, oh my God, <laughs> like it's just, it's just so crazy. Like how much they grow in such a short amount of time. But there's the head and the hands and the feet. Just so cute so cute and I was just so relieved you have no idea I go back for my actual first appointment with my doctor um, on Monday and today is Thursday so yeah um, I've been to, I've seen the baby two times already and I don't know if I'm gonna get an ultrasound on my actual first appointment because I just had one but if I don't get one that's not a big deal I'm excited for my appointment I still haven't heard the heartbeat I, I saw the heartbeat, but I haven't heard it yet, so I'm excited to hear the heartbeat on Monday, hopefully. But yeah, that's really all I have to update you guys on. Not that much really went on this week besides what happened today, and like I said, my symptoms are like gone, so I'm actually feeling really good. One more thing that was exciting that happened, I actually scheduled my gender ultrasound. We always go to like a private ultrasound place to find out early. I find out at around 15 weeks and my appointment is for September 25th, which is actually the day that I turn um, 15 weeks. So I'm really, really excited. I cannot wait to find out if it's a boy or girl. I have a feeling that it's a boy, but then at the same time, I'm like, it's probably a girl. Like, let's be real. One other thing that um, I want to mention is I did actually have another dream where I found out that it was a boy. Like, it was so vivid and real. Um, I don't know if that's just because, like, I want a boy. I, w I, I wouldn't say I necessarily want a boy. It'd be, like, really exciting and different because we, like, we have two girls. So, either way, I will be super happy. Like, don't get me wrong. I keep having dreams that it's a boy and just something in me is telling me it's a boy. But it's probably a girl. <laughs> that's it for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just ask me down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.